Hey guys, I'm back to make another video. So since it is now 2015, I figured I better show you guys what I did this year. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this time last year I made a video called what I did in 2014. No, 2013. <laughs> 2013. And basically every day of every month I wrote down what I did every day and I just showed it to you guys for no reason. I, you probably don't care. But I did it again this year, more or less. There's a couple days here and there that I kind of didn't really remember what I was doing because I forgot to write it down. But let us get started with this. I'm pretty sure I had a much better year this year, to be honest, than I did last year. I don't really know why, just kind of how things roll. And I'm going to try and do some things different this year. I'm going to try and like put in some pictures of stuff of these things, if I have pictures of them, you know. So we're in January right now. Now, let's see what I have on here. I have my friend's car broke down one day. My friend, my best friend came over and we played Super Mario Bros. one day. I got 85% on an essay in English. So that's fun. Um, apparently my car broke down. January 21st, 2013, my, or 2014, my car broke down. So that's always good. Um, I had my math final. So that's shitty. I went to go get my hair cut and got lost in Edmonton. So that's always fun. Yeah, okay, so January wasn't that exciting of a month. It was fairly boring. <laughs> it was just kind of an average whatever kind of a month. Now we're on to February. Apparently I got a $10 tip at work. So that's always exciting. What else we got in here? I had lots of car problems last year, apparently. I have on February 4th. I remember this too. Me and my friend, we went to Second Cup. And we were sitting in a parking lot just kind of drinking our drinks and chatting. And my friend was actually in her mom's car. And her mom's car didn't start. We went to leave and the car just didn't start. So she had, and it was like really cold that day. I remember, I remember it being, it was like minus 30. So we're like sitting in my friend's car like freezing to death. And then we had to phone her mom to come get us. And it was, it was a mess. It was a mess. Apparently I bought a skirt when I went shopping, which I wrote down. It must have been a big deal because I have like an exclamation point. Apparently that was a big deal. I scorched my thumb apparently at work. So that's good. Yeah, okay. So apparently February wasn't that exciting of a month either. Then we move on to March. Apparently I exchanged money because I was going on my because I was leaving for my trip to London in a couple weeks. So I was exchanging my Canadian dollars into Euros and pounds. What else we got here? Oh, power went off in the school. One of my videos hit 100 views, which I think was maybe the first video that I ever got to hit 100 views, so that's good. <laughs> I won my badminton games, apparently. And then on the 27th, I left Fort London. And then I just kind of like have a week of nothing. <laughs> and there was supposed to be a vlog about that whole trip to London Paris that I actually never got around to uploading and editing. So I might just like throw in a couple pictures here because I was just really lazy and never uh, got around to doing that. Whoops. Uh, now we're into April. What do we got here? I made hollandaise sauce and foods. I got shut down my, my grade 9 math teacher because I something was happening that day and I oh yeah we sang at the grade 9 orientation at my school because I was in the choir and one of my grade 9 math my, actually my junior high math teacher she's my math teacher for most of junior high was there and she like said hello to a couple of my other friends that gone to school with me and then just completely ignored me and I'm like oh Okay, bitch, fine. I wasn't in your class either. Like, I don't want to talk to you either. That happens to me a lot, actually. Like, nobody ever recognizes me. Like, teachers never recognize me. And I have no idea why. Because I don't look that different. Or at least, I don't think I look that different. I had Easter. Apparently, I cleaned the office, the upstairs office at work for two hours, which was not fun. On the 26th, I met Tom Felton, who plays Jock Drake Draco plays Draco Malfoy in Harry Potter and that was probably one of the highlights of my entire year because Draco Malfoy is great and Tom Felton is so hot. So yeah, that was fun. <laughs> now we're on to May. I wrote used hair chalk one day. Apparently I got kicked out of my boyfriend's house too. 
I don't know why, I don't remember, but apparently I got kicked out of my boyfriend's house. <laughs> Skipped foods one day. Why did I do that? I don't remember ever skipping foods, so apparently I skipped foods. I don't know why I skipped foods. That's not good. Oh, I went to a birthday party. I built a molecule out of marshmallows in science class. So that's fun. Uh, apparently I got to miss third and fourth block one day. It was my May just like my month to not be in class? I don't know. Apparently I only made $79 at work in four hours, so that was a shitty day. <laughs> to my other friend's birthday party. I had to go to this park for science and it was fucking raining the entire time because we were doing like a biology unit. Yeah, it was raining the entire time and I hate the rain. In June, I went and saw Fault in Our Stars with my friends. Uh, apparently someone never showed up for work, so that was pretty annoying. I had a two and a half hour choir concert, which was really long. I skipped school first block on the 16th to go get Hunter Hayes tickets to see him at West Ed with my friend. <laughs> skipped first block, then got lost because we missed the turn off. So, yep. Uh, boyfriend got a new truck, went to Galaxy Land with him. Big Brother started. I got $55 from film because of people that stole... Stole? <laughs> people that bought my pictures. I went to the Hunter Hayes concert and got a hug and a picture. I'll put the picture right here because I don't know if I ever post that anywhere. It was a beautiful, beautiful time. Uh, I went to my friend's cabin for the weekend for a couple of days, so that's always fun. She has a really beautiful cabin, cabin on a lake. I went to the Canada Day concert in July, which was always fun. I got, that was the first time, that was the first I ever got grounded actually for a very, very big misunderstanding. So, that was not good. I burnt all my extra schoolwork because now we were into summer. I mean, best friend always burn all our schoolwork. Apparently I went to Sylvan Lake for one day. Oh, I hung out with my grandparents and then went to Sylvan Lake, got some ice cream. We went quadding through all the mud, had a fire, all that kind of stuff. Then on the 22nd, I left for LA and we were in San Diego and we went to a whole bunch of amusement parks and we were right by the beach and it was beautifully amazing. I'll put some pictures of that up there too because that was great. Moving on to August, then I basically just worked a lot it looks like. Work, work, did chores, work, work. Uh, I walked to the garden with my sister which was like an hour and a half long walk. I got a free blizzard one day at work. Yeah, just a lot of working. Another free blizzard. Went to register for school. Went to a Cody, Cody Simpson concert with my friend. So that's always fun. Had a fire with a couple friends. Apparently I went to 7-Eleven at 11 at night with my sister. On to September. I had to go back to school. So that's really annoying. <laughs> um, did some food modules. My boyfriend to do an oil change on my car. I got a new puppy which you guys saw, named Bombay. I'll put pictures of, up, of him up here, what he looks like now, because he's beautiful and I love him with all of my heart. <laughs> Hung out with my boyfriend some more. It was my birthday, so that was always fun. I went to my grandma's and had my birthday party there. Had to the Terry Fox run, which is really shitty. Uh, watched the Survivor premiere and the Big Brother finale, which was always just annoying. I had a couple bad days in September with to do with kind of like my boyfriend and stuff that was going on. So that was kind of not good. October, I got 90% on a science unit exam apparently. So that's good. I got my birthday photos done because my mom always makes us get photos every year. I had my birthday party and we got to have alcohol there because my mom let me have alcohol. So that was good. Got 94 on a science test. Lots of food stuff. New managers. The new manager quit. New manager came back. Other people quit. I had to dissect a heart in science, so that was really disgusting. Um, went into Edmonton with my friend to go get Halloween costumes. Then it was Halloween, and I spent like an hour and a half on my makeup, so I'll put that picture up here too. But lots of people loved it. Everyone that I saw that day loved my makeup. That day. It was good. It was, it was worth every minute I spent. Um, now we're into November. What else? Got 88% on a science or on a social test, which is probably the highest I've ever gotten on anything. A 98 on a science test. Had to perform at Remembrance Day. 
donated blood for the first time with my friend. I have O negative blood, just in case you were wondering. I got the special blood. So I gotta, they call me every time now because they make me come donate. I had to work for like an extra hour because there was a stupid rigors game at school, which was really annoying. I went over to my friend's house, I bought some ice cream, went over to my best friend's house because she was having some problems, she'd broken up with her boyfriend. So being the best friend that I am, I bought some ice cream and went over there and we had a chat before she had to go to work. The power went out of my house for like four hours when I was trying to watch my TV show. My TV show started at like nine and then the power went out. I like clicked the TV on to watch it and the power went out. I was really pissed. <laughs> my parents to the airport. I, there was a stupid U of A presentation at my school. It was really stupid. It was not worth my time at all. Uh, my parents were gone for the whole weekend just doing some stuff. Had my last choir practice. Uh, it was Black Friday. Then I bought some stuff from Sephora because that's my favorite store. I got my new laptop which is what I use to edit all of my videos on. So that's great. And finally we're on to December. So I wrote, the first thing is I just had lots of physics, uh, got 90% on a, 96% on a bio test, 100% on a physics quiz, which is way better than I've ever gotten on any physics test in my entire life. <laughs> got a new manager at work, did some chores, I saw Mockingjay Part 1 with my f best friend and that was really amazing. I had my one year anniversary with my boyfriend, which is really unbelievable to be honest. Like, when the day kind of finally came, I was like... I can't believe that at this time a year ago I was I had only met him like a week and a half ago and I was going into Edmonton with him in his vehicle going to see Frozen actually it's just it was just really surreal like to think that it's already been an entire year and I'm just like wow it's crazy I had the last day of school and I had three exams I only have three blocks in a day because I have a fourth block spare I had an exam every single block on the last day of school before Christmas break. It was, it was, it was, it was hella shitty. Let's just say that. I had a sleepover at my best friend's house and she got this like fondue set for, uh, from work. For like a Christmas present, I guess, or whatever. And she wanted to do it with me because she told me I'd be the only friend that would really like respect it, would really like enjoy it. So we got it out at like 10 probably. And then we look around and realize that her dad didn't have like any fruit in his house. So we were like looking through stores to see which stores were still open. So we ended up going to co-op at, what time did it say? 10.40. We arrived at co-op and it closed at 11. I obviously went in there and bought strawberries and some cookies <laughs> and then left. And then I had Christmas Eve, which was just a lot of visiting and a lot of just socializing and it's it, it wore me out. It was, I was really tired by the end of the day. I was just like, oh my god, so many people. I'm very much of an introverted kind of a person, so all that socializing, it took, it takes a lot out of me. Like, I love socializing with people, but I can't do it for like hours and hours on end. It just makes me really like, it drains me so much. <laughs> And then it was Christmas, so I got to open all my presents. And if you guys want to see what I got for Christmas, there will be a link to the video in the description because I showed you guys the majority of the stuff that I got for Christmas. I watched Divergent finally, and it wasn't actually bad. Like, I never read any of the books, but the movie itself wasn't actually that bad. And then on the 30th, I drove to West Ed with my sister and went shopping with my cousin, and we watched The Hobbit Part 1, which was... or the... Hobbit part one, Hobbit part three, and it was really, really good. And then on New Year's Eve, I chilled with my boyfriend and we went to a party together. Had lots of fun there. So yeah, that is everything I did in the year of 2014. I hope you guys enjoyed. I understand that my life is rather boring. It's not like most YouTubers that are like, I went to all these conventions, I did, and traveled all these places. I'm not famous. <laughs> I just have like an average life. But yeah, that is about it. I will probably be making another one of these videos in a year's time. I already have my new Night Before Christmas calendar and I've already started writing what I've been doing in it for the last couple days. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please give this video a like and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!